Hey guys, it's Dan, your host here Dan's Reviews, and today I'm back for another Walking Dead video for today. This one, I'm going to be doing a video as requested by Brian Archam. This one, I want to do a video talking about The Walking Dead. Uh, we're going to do a little bit of a series on this one. It's going to be a, a three-parter. Uh, I'm going to do, first off, I want to start off with the second half of The Walking Dead Season 10. This would be uh, kind of, I guess what I'm going to call this is How I Would Write series. This is going to be episode one of this new little series. Uh, I, you know, I don't know how often I'll do these, but... Uh, you know, this is going to be the first one. Definitely want to start it with, uh, you know, the original Walking Dead. How I would write the back eight episodes. How would I write the second half of season 10? How would I have it, you know, start and the middle? How would I have the war go? How would I have Michonne leave? Everything like that based off of everything we've seen so far. How would I write the second half of season 10 of The Walking Dead? Besides the whispers. Okay, guys, so this is going to be doing another Walking Dead video for today. I uh, haven't been making too many Walking Dead videos over the last couple days, but I did. I def definitely want to do this one because, you know, it's been a few days since I've done a Walking Dead video. Now, this topic is awesome, and I want to, you know, definitely give credit where credit is due. I definitely want to give a, a shout-out to Brian Archram for suggesting this video uh, and, you know, this kind of little series on how I would write uh, some of the, uh, this, the the different series of Walking Dead. We're going to do Walking Dead for this video. Uh, I might, you know, go ahead and do one for Fear of the Walking Dead as well for season six, um, you know, and then probably I'll do one for World Beyond season one, as well as maybe the Rick Grimes movies if you guys want to see that. So this will be the first episode of how I would write series on Dan's reviews. Um, you know, I'm not going to, this is not going to be like a weekly thing like the Saturday spotlights or this and that. It's just really until, uh, you know, we can really get some more information for The Walking Dead because there hasn't been too much coming out for Walking Dead recently. I mean, you know, we got a, we got a few new things, you know, at the beginning of this month, but you know, I mean, now it's kind of going silence again for Walking Dead uh, and we haven't really gotten, you know, all that much for Walking Dead. So until then, maybe over the next couple days I can do this one. But, uh, you know, anyway, so this one right here, so the second half of The Walking Dead season 10. So definitely we have a lot to discuss for this one. Um, how would I write the second half of the season? So from episodes nine to 16, how would I have the season, you know, start and how would I have it end? So, um, okay. So for the mid season premiere, so how would I have the mid season premiere of season 10 go? Um, I'd have it be pretty simple. You would have about, let's say, okay, so I would probably have the mid-season premiere be about a 50-minute episode. Uh, extend it a little bit, you know, because it's your return episode. You really want to get uh, some good amount of time in your return episode to really set up the rest of the episodes. So I would have about a 50-minute episode. About 20 to 25 minutes of the episode would be the group stuck in the cave, trying to find different ways to get out of there. Um... And I would have a character death. Uh, I know that maybe for some people, you're like, why would you need a character death? They just killed off Sadiq, and, you know, Michonne's going to be leaving soon. Why would you have a character be killed off in the cave? Well, I would personally have a character be killed off mainly because of the fact that I don't think the cave storyline would be looked back at in, like, a season from now as, like, a really exciting episode if nothing came from it and they just got out of there just simply in some simple way. Um... So, I would have the group struggling to get out, trying to find different ways, and it'd be very frustrating to watch it through because the group just can't get out of the cave. And I would have it be a very uh, claustrophobic type feeling, you know, for the episode. I would have that kind of that kind of feel to it, you know? Um, and I would have a lot of walkers kind of trying to get at them, and all the directions they go, the herd blocks them off in the cave. And then, okay, so then I would cut to Negan and uh, the, uh, the, uh, the the whispers. Uh, I would have Gamma uh, saying that she is going to look for more walker or, or look for more guardians. And Alpha's like, okay. And Negan follows Gamma, and he kind of sees where Gamma's going, and then all of a sudden, he's, Negan notices that Gamma passes the border and goes towards Alexandria, and Negan's like, oh, crap, you know, like, I, I got her, so, um, Negan knows at that point that Gamma is going to Alexandria, for what, Negan doesn't know, but he just knows full well that Gamma is obviously a spy at this point, and Negan's dealt with them, you know, I mean, Simon, Dwight, you know, he's dealt with them, so he goes and tells, uh, tells Alpha about Gamma, uh, I think, honestly, that is probably what they'll do, and I think that that's what I would have happen, too, tell Alpha about what Gamma's doing, uh, or at least most likely, kind of get Alpha's mind on that, you know, to really anger Alpha, Alpha to, to know that one of her high-ranking whispers is telling the group about what she's doing. Um, 
So then that makes Negan look better, you know, for coming to Alpha and telling her this information. So that's what I would have Negan do. And then I would also have, so here's, here's how I would have this go down. Uh, you know, Beta is, you know, mad because of what Gamma's doing. All the Whispers are, you know, not really sure what's going on. Uh, they know Gamma's going there. And then I would cut to Alexandria and I would have maybe a few scenes here and there of like, you know, just a few scenes of Rosita or Coco, Eugene, just a few character moments just to kind of catch up with them after the break. And then I would have Gamma show up at the walls so I would have her be like the people that you sent out all the people that you know Daryl Carol Connie everybody else they're in trouble and you know you'd have that scene from the trailer and um they're trapped, of course, in this cave, uh, and, you know, we have to find a way to get them out of there, that type of deal, and Gabriel and the others meet in the church, you know, for a meeting on what on earth they're gonna do about Gamma, first of all, and are they just gonna let her, you know, roam around, and then I would have Gabriel have the idea, you know what, no, we're putting, we're putting Gamma in a, Gamma in a cell right now, because we can't have this, and you know what, we're gonna have Gamma. Gamma is gonna be our hostage. Gabriel's gonna think of that. Gamma is gonna have is gonna be our hostage. I don't care if she came to us with this information. Gamma is gonna be our hostage. And if Alpha wants Gamma back, she has to give Daryl and the other get Daryl and the others out of there back home. Then we might give Gamma back. You know. Um, and that could definitely start some conflict, some conflict, you know? Uh, and then, of course, bad, I know. But anyway, so we, we have that, of course, and I would have the episode end, and I know that this would be something that maybe a lot of people wouldn't expect, but I would have the mid-season premiere end, and I know this is maybe where some people might disagree with me on, but I would have Alpha maybe being really upset that, you know, Gamma is doing what she's doing, and she doesn't know how to really, you know, you know, protect her whispers anymore. She doesn't really know what to do. She doesn't really want to go to war with the the the, the characters. Alpha's kind of not really sure what to do, and Negan, you know, comforts her and this and that. And then here's where I would have Negan kill Alpha. I would have Negan kill Alpha, and I would have the moment. Um, on the small screen with uh, with Negan and Alpha, and I would have Negan kill Alpha, and of course the uh, the just just the moment from the comics. You guys know, and I would have him mention Carol instead of Rick. Okay, so that's what I would have, and that would be the uh, the big moment of the mid season premiere. And then you would have uh, the uh, Negan, you know, kind of you know sneak out of the Whisper Camp, you know, slowly in the middle of the night, and. You would have Negan sneak out, and at the very end of the episode, Daryl and the others are still struggling, maybe have like a little bit of a music montage, and then all of a sudden, you have tons of walkers that just get killed, and you have Negan that saves Daryl and the others. Now, uh, I would have somebody die here, and I think the what what I would do is I would have everybody go getting out, Negan's helping them out, and Daryl's like, why on earth is Negan saving us, and this and that, and Jerry would be the one character that doesn't make it out. That's what I would have happen. Uh, and then it'd be very tragic, it'd be like, man, they almost made it, and then Jerry gets just pulled down by a bunch of the walkers, and they have to, they can't see him, but they hear Jerry getting killed. Um... And they're all just like, you know, the, the, that kind of face, you know, and they're just hearing him down there in the cave just getting ripped apart. And, you know, they have to stand now outside the cave and just hear it happen. Uh, so then I would have the ending of the episode. The ending episode scene would be Negan takes out the, the head, right? Throws it on the ground in front of Daryl. And he's like, and he's, and, you know, and he's just like, we have a war to, you know, we have a war to start. That type of deal. Uh, you know, that, that type of deal. And you would have that, just kind of that, that moment at the end of the episode where Daryl's looking at Negan and he sees the head on the ground. He's just like, what on earth, you know? And then you would have a promo for episode 10 showing the group kind of frustrated on what they're going to do. They have Gamma now. The group is out of the cave. Alpha's dead. And it's just like Beta, you know, Beta's going to, what's going to happen when Beta finds out that type of deal. So that's just the mid-season premiere. Then I would have, um, for episode 10, you would have the group not really sure what to do. You have the council, Alpha, and, you know, they have Alpha's head now, and they're kind of just like, oh, my God, like, what are we going to do? We have Gamma, and then I would have, uh, you know, uh, Daryl go down to the cell and talk to Gamma and ask her why she showed up. Why did she go to them, and why, you know, why is she doing what she's doing? And, you know, and kind of explain that, 
you know, you know, I, you know, because of Alpha's lies and this and that, you know, I want, I want Alpha dead and I got that. So, you know, I'm good now, that type of deal. Uh, and Daryl's like, yeah, Alpha's dead, Gamma, that type of deal. So, uh, you know, I, I would have Gamma saying, I would, I can help you guys. You just got to trust me. And then Daryl would be like, no, nah, we can't trust you. You know, you were a whisper uh, for how many years, you know, that type of deal. And uh, no, I, we can't trust you at this point. So then I would have just a few chill scenes in Alexandria for episode 10, because I, I feel like the mid season premiere was so crazy that, you know, you would have for episode 10 a bit of a more chill episode you'd have um judith who would make daryl the uh the, the extra wing and stuff like that uh, stuff like that and you know she'd be holding it up and do you like it that type of deal and uh, daryl's like yeah you know it's you know it's good i needed an extra wing there for a while just some cool lines like that you know uh wondering if michonne's gonna come back uh and we'll get to michonne in a minute but yeah, and basically, uh, the group is just in panic. They don't really know what to do. You know, they've killed Alpha. What's going to happen now? And I would have the group, uh, the group, uh, you know, basically decide that they're going to go to, uh, you know, to Hilltop and they're going to train and that type of deal. And then we have a scene at the Whisper Camp where Beta finds out about, uh, you know, Alpha and kind of her death. So, uh, I would have, um, Beta find out that Alpha's dead, and, you know, at the very end of the episode, Beta decides to take the Whispers, and they start marching along and go for Alexandria, and that would be the end of episode 10. So, and with some kind of interesting music and this and that. So then, episode 11. Episode 11 is the big one. I would have a couple minor characters sta staying at Alexandria, maybe Gabriel, Rosita, and, and a few others, but I would have the rest of the group go to Hilltop. Um... And defend that, you know, because Hilltop definitely needs some more people there. You know, Ezekiel's sick, this and that. They could definitely, Hilltop could definitely use the people and, you know, that type of deal. So, uh, and, and I would have them take a uh, Gamma with them as well. Uh, now, here's what I would do. In episode 11, I would have Beta and the Whispers attack Alexandria in episode 11. And, you know, Rosita and Gabriel and just a few other randoms, they don't know what to do. They don't know how to protect Alexandria. Um... You know, and all of a sudden the whisper starts sneaking in, JSS style, you know. They start hopping over the walls with knives and this and that, and they just they just start killing people, you know, and it's it's brutal. Beta gets to the point, he's mad about Alpha and he he's he's he just wanna he just wants to wipe out Alexandria in the hilltop. He doesn't want anything to do with them anymore and he he just wants to take them down. Uh and beta maybe isn't really thinking straight, that type of deal. Uh and then I would have the scene from the comics with the tower scene, and that's why I said leave Gabriel and Rosita back at Alexandria to defend it, um, because, you know, they're, they're tough, that type of deal, and, you know, like I said, a good few others, you know, a lot of other randoms, like maybe Laura's there too, and a lot of others, but a lot of the fighters are at Hilltop at the moment, and then Alexandria, it's like, you don't know what's going to happen, you know, and Alexandria starts getting destroyed, you have the Whispers who start, uh, blowing stuff up, and I would actually have, uh, Alexandria being, uh, at least partly destroyed in that episode, Beta goes into the houses, they just start killing people, and it's really crazy, and you don't know what's going to happen, you know, and, and, you know, Beta, uh, is in, you know, the house, uh, and, you know, you got Whispers here, you got Whispers there, the attacking, and Water Tower scene from the comics, I would have, uh, that certain character character be killed as well and you know you just at that point Alexandria is really desperate um and you know you don't know what's going to happen that type of deal so uh, I would have Rosita and uh, her baby and a few of the other Alexandrians try to find some way out and I would have them use the sewer trick I think that'd be cool it'd be a nice reference back to season eight and uh, the terrible season it was but I would have Rosita uh, you know Coco and a few others maybe just a, a few of them that make it out uh, Gabriel you know is not there with them anymore and they have to they have to go and they have to leave and then they're on foot uh, they don't know if the whispers are behind them or not and beta thinks we got them all you know beta thinks we got them all and let's move on to hilltop so that would be my cliffhanger for episode 11 so then episode 12 so this is apparently must be the episode with Michonne. So this is when I would have it be a bit of a cliffhanger. You know the Whispers Beta. Beta thinks they got them all at Alexandria, not knowing that really Rosita and a few others are still kind of hiding in the sewers and they're just waiting for Beta and the others to leave, that type of deal. And I would have... Um, a cliffhanger where you know full well that in episode 13, you're going to see that attack at the hilltop. So I would have that. But here's what I would have happen. Episode 12. So Michonne be off with Virgil. Um, and this is the one thing I it is the most difficult for me to figure out. Um, how would you have Michonne leave? The only way I could see happening is that Virgil, uh, you know, lures uh, Michonne to uh, his, you know, um, island and this and that. Um, 
and that type of deal. And Virgil basically, uh, you know, you, you get the idea that he basically screwed Michonne over. Um, he wants Michonne there to, you know, uh, help him and his family and that type of deal with supplies and this and that. Uh, but uh, that, you know, Virgil really is tricking Michonne that type of deal. And that Virgil basically, you know, knocks Michonne out and you have this whole thing where it's like, you know, what's, you know, what's going on here? Uh, and like I said, I'm not thinking about this too well with the whole Michonne thing here. But um, I would have Michonne probably, here. here's what I would have happen. I'd have Michonne try to kind of, uh, you know, uh, you know, m contact Judith and she's too far away from Judith and she just kind of can't reach Judith. And it's like, oh man, you know, Michonne can't get to Judith. She has to get back home. But Virgil, uh, you know, and he, you know, Virgil, he has Michonne there captured. And then all of a sudden Michonne is, you know, captured there on the island somewhere. And then you have the helicopter that comes in. And this is what I would have happen. You would have the helicopter that comes in, um, and Virgil basically this whole time uh, was, you know, kind of uh, undercover for the CRM basically. And you would have Michonne who, uh, you know, is captured and then they get Michonne on the helicopter. And Virgil pretty much has tricked Michonne into going there. And Michonne can't get back to her kids because Virgil screwed over Michonne. And now Virgil uh, is making Michonne go onto the helicopter with Virgil's family as well. And they all go to the Commonwealth uh, or wherever, or the CRM, I guess is what I would, I guess is what I would call it. Uh, and then you would get some kind of, um, um, you know, Michonne would, you know, be on the helicopter, that type of deal. Um, and she, she, you know, she'd be on the helicopter and this type of thing. And, you, you know, she doesn't know where she's going and all that kind of stuff. And you would have her go, knowing full well the fans know that Michonne, you know, she isn't dead, that type of deal. She's going to see Rick probably at the CRM. We know where Michonne's going. We've seen this helicopter before. And, you know, we know that Michonne is probably going to see Rick, and that's where she's going to be going off to. So uh, Virgil pretty much screws, screws over Michonne and, you know, does that. You know, so that's what I would have happen. Then, okay, so Michonne would be gone. I would have her be in the movies, but... Here is the problem. You know, movies, we're going to leave that out of the conversation for right now because I don't want to really um, go into that too much. You know, I just don't think that that's, uh, you know, something that, uh, you know, I, I, it, the movies is really a separate thing I want to discuss, you know, on another date. But the thing is with Michonne is that I know maybe for some people you don't know, you don't like my direction of, you know, the whole Michonne thing, but I'm clueless, guys. I'm really clueless. Like, I... I, you know, for the whole Whisper War I've been discussing in this video so far, like, I think it's been pretty much perfect, but the Michonne thing, that's my one thing. It's like the only way I could have her leave is if she goes to the CRM somehow, or if Virgil sends her there somehow, if he has some kind of connection to the CRM, or something like that, you know, and he screws over uh, Michonne and stuff like that. That's my, and you know, you know where Michonne's going, you know, um... That's my only thing. That is the only thing I could really figure out at this point. But we'll have to see where that goes. But I know maybe maybe for the Michonne part of this video, you guys are like, I don't really agree with you. I get that. But I don't really have another direction of where to go with Michonne's character. You know, it's it's one of those things where it's like, what do you do with Michonne? You know, that's really the one thing. So I might discuss that more in another video. But for right now, I would have her go to the CRM somehow uh, and have Virgil screw her over. Because I just don't think that Virgil is legit. I still don't. So yeah, that's that's what I've had. Uh, I would have happen now. The last four episodes. So episode thirteen, I would have Hilltop be torched, pretty much. Uh, this the moment from the comics. I would have Hilltop be torched in episode thirteen. Um, and I would have only Beta and a few, like maybe a couple dozen more whispers get away. Then in episode fourteen, I would have episode fourteen kind of be uh, the the last kind of you know whisper episode of the series. And yes, I know uh, maybe that's a bit quick for you guys, but I think that would be you know that's what I would have happen. So. Because, you know, Negan killed Alpha and this and that, Negan, you know, fights the Whispers with our characters. I think, I mean, Negan killing Alpha, I think they're not really going to say Negan's just going to be in a cell for this Whisper War. I think Daryl and the others, you know, Carol and the others are going to be like, you know what, Negan's tough, we're going to use him in this war. And I think that in the last episode of the Whispers, uh, the hilltop is destroyed, everything has been burnt, and, you know, the characters are kind of just in a point right now where they're like, they, you know, the Whispers, most of the Whispers are gone, but Beta and a few others got away. So, here's what I would have happen for the last Whisper episode, which would be in episode 14. Um... Weird placement, I know, but I think that's what I would have happen. Uh, you would have uh, Negan that goes out on a mission on his own in episode 14. I would have episode 14 be a big Negan episode. And they're all like, great, Negan took off again. Great. You know, the hilltop is destroyed. 
Alexandria has been, you know, all pretty much destroyed as well at this point. And the group is at a point now where they're like, they're just in the woods, like in a camp or something. And they're just like, we don't know what we're going to do. You know, Alexandria has been pretty much destroyed. Hilltop has been destroyed. Oceanside, I mean, you know, it's it's like, you know, Oceanside, I, you know, we don't know what we're going to do. So maybe what they want to do is they want to maybe try to head to Oceanside because that's all they have left in episode 14 is to try to head towards Oceanside. Um, but Negan takes off, you know, and they're just like, damn it, Negan, you know. Uh, and, you know, they're all kind of looking for him, this and that. And Negan goes out there and basically decides to uh, hunt down the Whispers on his own. So I would have Negan basically fight Beta. That is the one thing. I would have Negan versus Beta uh, be kind of the last thing. Now, how to go, I mean, I think Negan and Beta, that, that wouldn't be much of an even fight. You know, that's the one thing about it. But, I, you know, you got to have some kind of fight between those two. I just think, you know, Beta wants to get revenge for Alpha and Negan, and maybe during the fight between Beta and Negan, he tells, Negan tells, you know, Beta, I, I killed Alpha, you know, that just, the Beta just goes crazy on him. And I think that the one thing I would like to see to kind of, you know, you think Negan's going to die to Beta, you think, you know, you think that's what's going to happen, and the character that saves Negan from Beta would be Judith that comes in and stabs him, uh, stabs Beta in the leg, and, you know, Beta kind of, like, you know, he's like, Ugh, you know, he kind of, you know, he's hurt or whatever, and this and that, and then Judith stabs Beta with, uh, the, uh, with her sword, and it's like, Judith has killed Beta? Whoa, you know, <laughs> like, that type of deal, and Negan's just like, Negan's just looking at Judith, like, holy crap, like, Judith has just killed Beta, stabs him in the leg first, kind of goes down, and then Judith gets him, you know, because honestly, I think that that would be something that the fans would never expect, they would never expect that, and then, of course, the rest of the Whispers, maybe a few of them, um, they run off, and that is kind of the, uh, the, the ending of the Whisper War in the TV series version, uh, so, how would I end the season? Okay, so I would end the season with the group finding out that Eugene was talking with Stephanie. Um, and that's how I would have this kind of things go. The group finds out at the end of season 10 that there is a huge group out there. Uh, there is a huge group out there and, you know, they're going to have to, you know, that's the thing. They're going to have to, uh, go out there, that type of deal. So the group leaves, right? The group leaves, um, you know, you have a few of the others that, you know, they leave to go find out what this commonwealth is. Eugene, uh, Yumiko, maybe Ezekiel, you know, a few others. Maybe Daryl, but I don't know if you want to do that too. Uh, maybe you keep Daryl back home or maybe you keep Carol back home. I don't know, something like that. Uh, and they go off to see uh, this this commonwealth community. And then you know full well in season 11 that something is going to, you know, you know, we're going to see this community from the comics. And, you know, it's going to be crazy in season 10 to see the Commonwealth come to the, you know, the small screen. But you have to wait till October to see that. Uh, but I would have the cliffhanger of the season 10 be, uh, at, you know, they're going off to the Commonwealth, a good bunch of them. And Daryl and the others are, you know, they're, they're back or whatever. Um, they're kind of trying to, they're back at, a, at like just, the, just this camp or whatever. Alexandria has been destroyed. Hilltop's been destroyed and they're still on their way to, uh, or no, they're at, they're at Oceanside and you know, they're kind of, you know, that's all they got at this point. And they're at Oceanside, the group's off going towards this Commonwealth. And the very ending of the episode of season 10 would be the mega herd. Uh, you know, they're just like, oh crap, that's right, you know. And, you know, the herd goes towards Oceanside and that is the cliffhanger for season 10 is that you know full well that in season 11, that herd is going for Oceanside and the group is screwed because a lot of their manpower went to the Commonwealth place. And the herd is right behind them and they they go towards uh oceanside and the group is going to have to figure out some kind of way to either get away from oceanside let the the herd just have oceanside uh or something like that and i would have in season 11 that'd be the downfall of oceanside because i just can't take oceanside anymore but yeah anyway so that's what i would have but then i would have the herd going towards oceanside and then i would have at the very end of season 10 at uh, the last moment like an after credit scene you would have this car that would pull up and you'd have, you know, a few other, just a few random people getting out of the car and just like, who are these people? And then all of a sudden you have Maggie, that's one of them, that comes out. And she sees, you know, from a distance, walkers heading towards Oceanside. And Maggie's just like, well, I guess this is where I come in, that type of deal. So, uh, and then that that is how you end season 10, is knowing that Maggie maybe, maybe could help the group somehow get rid of this herd and maybe save the group. But... Will Oceanside be saved? It, are there too many walkers for Oceanside and that type of deal? And you have a lot of questions. The group, part of the group is going to the Commonwealth now. What's going to happen? What's going to happen when they find out that Maggie's back? 
you know, is Maggie part of this Commonwealth, that type of deal, and you have a lot of questions kind of going in. So, um, season 10 would be very, uh, or season 11 would be very hyped. The group going towards this Commonwealth, you don't know what this place is about, only comic readers know what that is, uh, and maybe they have some kind of connection to CRM if they want to do that, or if they wanted that, you know, to be fully separate. Um, and then, you know, Michonne leaving towards the CRM, and you know where she's going to, the herd going for the group at Oceanside, because at, at this point, Oceanside is all they have left. Alexandria has been destroyed, Hilltop's been destroyed, and the Whispers, yeah, they, they've lost, but at the same time, the group lost the communities as well, you know? Um, that type of deal. And, you know, to really, you know, to, to just end this video, that's how I would have season 10 go. A lot of action, a lot of whisper stuff, a, the two communities being destroyed. I would, I would get rid of Alexandria and Hilltop. Uh, call me crazy, but I would. I, I honestly would. I think that the group losing Oceanside at the beginning of season 11, you know, it'd be like, oh my God, the group is back on the road. Like that is insane. You know, uh, we haven't seen that in seasons, you know, that type of deal. And, and I would have that happen. You know, honestly, I think that's something we need to see. And the, you know, the her going for the group in Oceanside, Daryl and the others just sitting back and like, ah, oh, well, some of the group is off at, you know, going to this, you know, this new Commonwealth place. And, you know, they think that's a problem. And then all of a sudden, you know, Daryl and the others are at Oceanside and all of a sudden they, you know, you, they just maybe hear the herd coming for Oceanside. And Daryl's just like, no, you know, that type of deal. So, um, that's just me. That's how I would write it. I don't know if you guys like that. I mean, I'm, I'm sure the Michonne thing is probably a big, like, what on earth, Dan. But, I mean, I don't really know what they're going to do with that. I'm sure they're going to come up with something way better than I would, uh, for Michonne. I hope so, at least. But... The rest of it, the Whisper War, how do you think that would go if you actually saw that happen? If they if they lost the two communities, if if things went the way it did, uh, if you had Judith be the one to take t take down, you know, Beta, because that'd be like, what on earth? Like, Judith to save Negan? Like, you know, because you just wouldn't expect it, you know? Judith just comes in there at, like, the, the craziest time, you know? Um... Because Judith cares about Negan, and she would go after Negan, that type of deal, and save Negan from Beta and this and that. I just, I just think it'd be amazing. Honestly, I just think season ten, if it went like that, it'd be amazing. The only thing I wouldn't like would be Michonne and the way she leaves. You know, because either way, Michonne leaving is just going to be terrible. But you know, season ten aside from that, that's how I would have it go. So I know this was a long video, maybe one of the longest videos I've done, but that's how I would write the second half of season ten of The Walking Dead. What do you guys think about this? What are your opinions? And um. Would you have it go the way it go, uh, the way, you know, I have it go? I'm sure you guys, you know, you'd have some differences in this and that. But that's how I would have season 10 go. And just knowing full well that in season 11, we got a Commonwealth. We got the, the mega herd back at, Alex, at uh, you know, Oceanside. We got Maggie coming back. Will she be able to be able to help them? Or, you know, just what's going to happen there? Uh, you know, are, are we going to get any kind of more CRM connections? Because is this Commonwealth that Eugene's heading to connected to the CRM somehow? And maybe could they find out that Rick's alive? You know, and if season 12 is the last season, then, yeah, they could maybe start finding out that Rick's out there somewhere. You know, it's... That's something as well. So definitely there's some stuff going on here that I really wish would happen, but that is how I would have season 10 go. So anyway, guys, long video I know, but I definitely wanted to make it. How would you guys have season 10 go? I will make another one for Fear of the Walking Dead season 6 if you guys want to see that. So anyway, thank you guys so much for watching this video. And if you stayed here for the end, the entire video, you were absolutely amazing. And of course, guys, I will catch you guys really soon for another Walking Dead video. Enjoy the rest of your day, guys, and peace out.